Hi guys and welcome to Tech Paste. In this video, we will see the first build for Windows 11, the first official build of Windows 11 from Microsoft. We can get that through the Windows Insider program. If you don't know what Windows Insider is, basically Windows Insider is a program from Microsoft, of course, that allows you to test better versions of Windows. Better versions are versions of Windows that are not stable, are not ready for launch. They're only here in the Windows Insider program for testing purposes and for feedback. If you want to test the first build of Windows 11 yourself, all you have to do is to go to settings and Windows Insider program and here you're going to have to enter your Microsoft account and to do some a setup. Of course, then you're going to have to select your insider settings. If you want to get all the Windows 11 builds, you need to go to the dev channel. I did that myself. And now if you get this thing, your Windows Insider account requires attention to get insider preview builds. If you click fix the problem, it won't actually fix the problem. Just go and click on link a Windows Insider account, select your email and then click on continue and here it will ask you to protect your account and enter another email address i'm going to do that myself so i can go on with the video and once i enter the code from that email now as you can see windows insider is working properly to get the build of windows 11 all you have to do is to go to windows updates and of course check for updates as you can see we have windows 11 insider preview 10.0 0.2230.51 co-release and now it's downloading it and in a few seconds it will install it. Other things that you should know before trying to install these insider preview updates of Windows 11 is that they are really unstable so it's not recommended to install them on your main computer and um, also if you don't meet all the requirements for Windows 11 we won't be able to test out these versions. As I read on uh, Microsoft forums and stuff like that, I saw that Microsoft will pretty much let everyone install Windows 11, even if they don't have all the requirements like TPM and Secure Boot, but that will only be in the final versions. If you want to test these better versions, these better builds, you need to have all those requirements. Of course, if you don't have them and, if you, and you still want to test Windows 11 out, all you have to do is to install a virtual machine. In this case, for this video, I'm using VMware Workstation and it works pretty fine. You can install whatever version of Windows you want because it has all the requirements needed. As you can see now, Windows 11 Insider Preview is installing. It's installing pretty fast, but don't worry, it will take a lot of time to install because it's a bigger update and we're gonna have to restart our system and it's gonna be like a Windows install, but with no settings whatsoever that we need to do. It will only take some time, maybe 15, 20 minutes, depending on your system, if you have an SSD and other factors. Of course, I'm gonna wait out the Windows 11 installation here and I'm gonna come back when we have some interesting steps. Now the installation process is finished, the status is pending restart and now we get this message, restart to install the newest Windows feature update and I'm gonna click restart now to be able to finish the Windows 11 beta build installation. I'm very hyped for it. We're gonna talk about briefly of the new features, but in upcoming videos, I'm gonna talk about certain features more in different videos because there are some new interesting features that I think should be covered in different videos. As you can see so far, the Windows 11 update where this first build is installing like on Windows 10 update. So far, it's not really different. In my opinion, even when Windows 11 stable builds will launch, the upgrade or the update process will be pretty much similar from this one. I think it will be done through Windows updates uh, because it's uh, easier and um, of course it's more intuitive for the end user. Now Windows 10 restarted and uh, as you saw there for a few, few seconds we had the Windows 11 logo and we have now this page working on updates. Pl please keep your computer on. Your computer may restart a few times. This is I think a new font, a changed font. I, I think the new font from Windows 11 so that's pretty interesting. But now we're gonna wait for this process to be finished and we're gonna see how Windows 11 looks. Now Windows switched again to the full 
HD resolution, which is uh, very good. And now Windows 11 is welcoming us. We have this uh, screen with the high message as it was in Windows 10, getting things ready for you. This process uh, that I'm showing you, I'm only going to show you only for this first beta build um, so that you know how to do it yourself. This might take a few minutes. Don't turn off your PC. This is uh, the same screen from that uh, Windows 11 leaked version. So now we have to wait a few minutes and we will be logged into the new Windows 11 first build. And here it is, the new Windows 11. It's here. Uh, the first build officially from Microsoft. I see a few things that are different from the leaked version. I see some new animations and some new icons here in the internet section. Wow, this really looks very, very nice. We have the night light, we have the priority only, the accessibility, the connection, and the we, and here we can control the sound. This is really, really cool in my opinion. We have here the new notification section and the new calendar. Uh, that's very, very interesting. If we right click on our taskbar, we can click on taskbar settings. Let's see how it looks. Wow, it really looks different. It's, uh, it's different from the leaked version. We have here a few things that were not in the leaked version. We can turn on and off taskbar items from these buttons. We have taskbar corner overflow to control the icons that appear in the right side here. And we have taskbar behaviors. Let's see here, taskbar alignment. We can align it on the left, which is pretty interesting. Automatically hide the taskbar. Show badges on red messages counter. This is um, something that was in the leaked version. And hover or click on the far corner of taskbar to show the desktop. This is this. It's this button right here. If you, if you click on it, it will show you the desktop. In this version, we have a new Microsoft Store, which is uh, redesigned. In my opinion, it looks pretty good. It's more minimalistic, if you, if we can say so. Of course, we have these multitasking uh, function, which we can use by hovering over the maximize button, and we can select where we want our window to be located. And also, we have a new settings app, which is again changed and looks different. As you can see here, it's categorized differently. If you ask me, we have the system here and here we can see the most important stuff about our system, the display, the sound, the notifications and so on and so forth. And in the left side, we have other categories with the personalization where we can personalize our system differently. Let's see, we have here a dark version. Wow, this really looks pretty nice. It's a bit bugged as you can see here, but if we sign out, it should be okay. But if you ask me, it looks pretty, pretty insane. It actually looks very, very good in my opinion. Let me know your opinion down below in the description. Let's see, we have a lot of options here, but I'm not gonna go in depth because I'm gonna make a lot of videos about certain things from Windows 11. But let's go to themes a bit and see what things we have here. We have the desktop icon settings where we can select which icons appear on our desktop. That's really interesting. Let's see the Windows Explorer. It looks uh, nice. We have a new menu up here, which looks uh, actually kind of interesting. We have new buttons, we have new, and we can select new item, new folder. Okay, that's interesting. We, ha we have the cut, we have the copy, we have other options, we have delete, of course. We have here the sorting options. Here we have the layout and view options. Okay, that's interesting. Extra large icons and stuff like that. That's actually really interesting. And other things that we can do, we have properties, options, invert selection, select none, select all, copy, path. Yeah, this looks very, very nice. This is a new Windows 11, guys. The first build from um, Microsoft. Let's see how Windows update looks. It looks different. As you can see here, we can check for updates. Yeah, it looks uh, pretty nice. The design all over, it's very, very nice. We even have the first updates for Windows 11. That's pretty cool. But I really want to know your opinion of this operating system, of this first beta build in the comments down below. We have widgets here, which I think is pretty similar to the leaked version of Windows, but it looks really, really nice. Let's see if we have a new layout for task manager to go to task manager right click on the start button and then click on task manager and task manager looks the same so far they didn't change anything to it let's see the new start menu start menu looks 
yeah the same as in the leaked version but in my opinion this is very very nice i think microsoft did a really good job to change the design of windows 11 and they promised a way better gaming performance which is really really good as you can see we now have android apps on windows 11 uh, in microsoft store i searched for tiktok and now I'm gonna try to download it. Let's see if everything works as it should. We have a new menu. If we right click on our desktop, we have viewing options, sort by. I think these are the, um, the same options that we had before, but in a new design, which looks actually pretty good. We have new item here, which is moved down a bit. We have display settings, personalize, open in Windows terminal and show more options. Okay, and if we click on show more options, it shows us the old contextual menu, which is pretty interesting if you ask me. Let's go to display settings and see how display settings looks in this. Okay, we have a pretty weird uh, resolution here because as I've said, I'm using a virtual machine, but we have all the settings here. Yeah, it's really, really nice. We have HDR here. Let's see more about HDR. I'm looking forward to using this on my main computer, but as I've said, this is not really stable because it's only a better build, so I don't recommend it to be installed on a main computer. Now, let's get the TikTok app and see how it's working. Let's click on get and then uninstall. Let's launch TikTok and see how it looks in this new thing. Oh wow, it looks <laughs> it looks uh, it looks uh, interesting. It's the new TikTok app of course, and you will be able to install different Android apps in your operating system in your Windows 11 operating system. So for this video, these are the things that I wanted to show you how to get this new beta build of Windows 11. What's new here? I think there are a lot of things that are new comparing it to the leaked version of Windows 11, and I think this is really cool. I talked about Windows 11 here in this video briefly but make sure to subscribe to the tech base channel because i'm going to make a lot of videos about various different features from windows 11 in which i will explain them i will show you how to use them and and more fixes and tricks um coming soon so if you like this video don't forget to click the thumbs up button down below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one because we're going to talk about windows 11 a lot in the following months i'm pretty hyped about it and i'm hoping that you are too we're gonna test a lot of things like gaming and stuff like that so it's gonna be a really cool experience in my opinion i'm hoping you liked this video don't forget to leave a comment down below with your opinion on windows 11 i was emmanuel from tech based until next time have a nice day